Hey, Kevin Burkle here. So I help entrepreneurs get results with Facebook ads. And I want to talk to you about the iOS privacy domain issues that you might see in the ad account. So let me show you real quick exactly what I'm talking about. All right. So if, if you're building ads or anything, you most likely probably have come in to see this at some point where it says, obviously, all domains need to be associated with a pixel event pair and an ad. Your pixel event was not associated with any domain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So essentially, this is because of iOS and Apple wanting to protect our privacy. Um, the way around this is a few steps, which I'm going to walk through for you right now. The most important one is number one, you got to have a business manager set up. If you don't, go to business.facebook.com, pull in your ad account, pull in your page. That's going to be your hub. Uh, for really everything. That, that's the most important piece here. Um, once when you have that business manager set up, um, essentially what you have to do is verify your domain. So you're going to log in, you're going to business settings. You're going to come all the way down to brand safety and domains, which is uh, as you kind of can see right here. And then if you have it here, obviously awesome. If not, you need to add it. I'm going to just add a test here just to show you. Three test. So kind of at this point, you need to verify the domain. You have three options, a meta tag, which you can put on the website, an HTML file you can upload or a DNS um, change you can make you know, on the DNS. And typically DNS is for somebody who's more technical. If not, most likely 99% of the time, the easiest one for you to do is gonna be this meta tag. So you come here, you copy this, you then put it on the homepage. And then once you got it there, you click verify. Um, and then typically after five to 10 seconds, you'll get a little pop-up. They'll say verified. If not, you might say there's a problem. Then just obviously just go back until you get it. Once when you have it verified though, what you have to do is connect it. Um, so as you see right here, I already got it connected. So the way you connect it is you click add assets and then you get it here and then add it. Next on that is the um, pixel. You gotta make sure that number one, you're added onto that pixel. Um, if not, Go do it. So come over here. You want to, you know, add assets. Um, make sure that the um, ad account is attached to it. So I just want to do that, and then make sure you personally are on as well. After that, once when you have that and you're you're kind of building the ads, what will happen is this will change to this, and then you'll be good to go. If you still have this error there. What you have to do is come up to the ad set level. And most likely you have an issue with this conversion event because you're selecting one that, as you kind of can see here, is not, um, you know, essentially approved because what you really have, you have eight total. So if you have all of them here and they're like they have this, the next step is you have to go into events manager, which will be up here. And then after you get on here, there's gonna be like a, two things you really kind of want to do is kind of go over here make sure you kind of look at all these. And then you need to go to this tab over here, click configure web events. Obviously we have the domain verified. So if you didn't, it would say it here, but you know, obviously we do. I already went in here and um, you know, manage this, but you're gonna need to go in there if you don't. I mean, if you have them here, you still want to kind of go in there and look at them, but you need to uh, come in here and prioritize them. So in our case with this, let's just say we're trying to get leads. The most important is leads. But let's say you're selling something online. In that case, your most important one is going to be purchase. You can have a total of eight in here with obviously the highest priority at the top and the lowest at the bottom. So if you're doing like e-commerce, purchases at the top. Um, next would probably be, in that case, adding you know payment details. And then you know, initiate checkout, add to cart, um, you know, view content, which is typically you do that for like, you know, viewing a product. Um, so obviously do that in your, you know, list. Once when you have them there, you click submit. It does, it does say it can take up to 72 hours, but obviously once when you have it, you'll then be able to then go into um, the ad account and obviously fix that issue that like that we, you know, just saw there. What you do um, on the ad set level, where obviously you select the, the pixel, the event that is then, you know, verified that we kind of just went through. 
And then obviously on the actual individual ad. So you kind of see over here, we don't have one. So let's just kind of see real quick what happens over here. Obviously it doesn't have anything checked. So you gotta obviously go over here, go to the one that we have in that events manager that we got confirmed. And then obviously you got here. So if you do have, let's say multiple pixels, you'd have the option over here to switch through it. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, please share it with somebody you know. And if you'd like to speak with me or somebody in my team about Facebook ads, all you got to do is uh, go to brkal.com slash call, fill out the form. Uh, we'll obviously definitely check it out. If we think we can help you, we'll 100% reach out to you to schedule a call. They're free calls. We're not trying to sell you on anything. Um, but again, if you'd like to speak with me or somebody on my team, just go to brkal.com slash call. Thanks.